Old Trafford. There has been a question mark around the psychology of the Man UTD squad and how quickly confidence gets sapped after a defeat, victories over Barcelona, Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal last season feel like a trick of the mind, writes Melissa Reddy. At the start of this year, Pep Guardiola remarked, finally, Manchester United is coming back. Yet after a derby undressing on Sunday afternoon was followed by another thumping by Newcastle, the only returning cycle in evidence for the Old Trafford side is the one where any shoots of promise have been replaced by the familiar feeling of it all unraveling. Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will offer a knowing nod. The latter encapsulated just how rapidly the atmosphere can shift at United in one, piercing sentence when discussing Ralph Rangnick, who had succeeded him on an interim basis. November will mark a year since United embarked on a strategic review to enhance future growth that has led to endless uncertainty, now culminating in the expectation the football operation will be overhauled should Sir Jim Radcliffe's Ineos obtain a 25% stake in the club. Ten Hag spent last season trying to restore the basics at United, defensive structure, physicality, pragmatism and feeding their counter-attacking strengths. The planned evolution was to make them more comfortable in possession and the best transition side in the world, with the signings of Mount and Anena in particular aiding both aims. Neither has happened yet and Ten Hag admitted to Sky Sports News both players have had a harder time settling in due to the inconsistent state of the team, although the goalkeeper has turned in three stronger performances on the spin. It is not only about them, it is about the total team, he said. You highlight them and I know why you highlight them because they are new but it is unfair. No one in this moment are reaching the levels they should be. Of course, it is harder for the new players to integrate, because United are not reaching the expected standards yet, but the players last season know better the rules, the principles so the new players have to know them through the routines in the meantime. They have to know each other but when they have to play in a different lineup it is difficult but, I am confident. Ten Hag's message to his players amid the unconvincing performances and unrelenting noise that surrounds the club has been to stay on the same page and stick to our plan. It is increasingly hard from the outside to decipher what that is. It is understood the 83 principles, a large portion centered around discipline and work ethic, the manager introduced in his first meeting have not been altered. There has been a question mark around the psychology of the squad and how quickly confidence gets sapped after a defeat. Ahead of the Carabao Cup final in February, Bruno Fernandez offered to Sky Sports, it's up to us to keep going, up to our qualities, up to what we have been doing really well, and so it is about us now to carry on because it's easy to forget the good results we have done whenever you lose a game. So it's us about us to carry on and doing our best because we don't want people to forget how good we are. It is the players who need to remember, and fast because the victories over Barcelona, Liverpool, Manchester City and Arsenal last season feel like a trick of the mind.